There's a difference between an NFL game ending on a single crazy play and on a sequence of crazy plays. Yeah, a team might win a game off of a Hail Mary or a lucky bounce of some sort, but were the events before that all that crazy? Some of the best endings in NFL games featured a crazy sequence that led to the epic conclusion. We picked 10 of the very best and put them all into one list. So again, remember, these endings are based on a series of unbelievable plays, not just one. I'm Justin Fraction, and today we present the 10 craziest sequences to end an NFL game. At TPS, we post videos every single day, so don't forget to click the subscribe button to subscribe. Then click the notification bell to be notified when we post a new video. And a big shout out to Kipley's YouTube for suggesting this video list. We hope you enjoyed it, and if you do leave your ideas down below, you never know, we might use one and give you a shout out. Number 10, Aaron Rodgers Hail Mary Game vs. Lions. Aaron Rodgers led a struggling Green Bay Packers team into a Week 13 Thursday nighter against the Detroit Lions. Green Bay simply needed a win to stay in the thick of the tough NFC playoff race. Trailing by nine with just over three minutes left, the Packers scored a touchdown to cut the lead to two. But when the Lions converted on the third down before the two-minute warning, the game looked all but over. The Packers did get the ball back, but they were stuck at their own 21-yard line with just three seconds left. A lateral play was run and it came up, well, short. But just when it seemed as though Detroit won the game, Devin Taylor was flagged for grabbing Aaron Rodgers by the face mask. So now Rodgers had just one chance at a Hail Mary. And because it's Aaron Rodgers, he made the most of that final opportunity that the Lions gifted to him. Number 9. Super Bowl 49 Circus Catch Stupid Decision The Seattle Seahawks Legion of Boom clashed with Tom Brady's New England Patriots in Super Bowl 49. Seattle built a 10-point lead heading into the fourth quarter. With that historic defense, there was no way Brady and the Pats could pull it off, right? Wrong. Brady led the Patriots to a pair of clutch fourth-quarter scoring drives, and the Seahawks only had two minutes to answer. The Patriots had lost their last two Super Bowl appearances to the New York Giants, courtesy of miraculous catches by David Tyree and Mario Manningham. It looked like they were going to be on the wrong end of another miracle catch when Jermaine Kearse made arguably the greatest grab in Super Bowl history. Marshawn Lynch then ran the ball down to the half-yard line, and just when the Patriots looked like they were about to suffer another Super Bowl heartbreak, the Seahawks ended this crazy game with the dumbest play call in NFL history. I mean, pretty awesome sequence of events, and in a Super Bowl nonetheless. Number 8. Nick Folk, two times a charm. The Dallas Cowboys were trying to move to a 5-0 on the season, but the Buffalo Bills and their fired-up fans would not make it easy. Tony Romo threw a horrible five interceptions in this game, but the Cowboys' defense kept them in this one. Trailing by eight points with under 20 seconds left, Dallas got a touchdown. Now they needed a two-point conversion. Well, after that fail, they needed the onside kick to have any hope, and they got it. The Cowboys set up rookie kicker Nick Folk with a chance to be the hero on national TV. No pressure on the kid who voted a 53-yarder to win it. But Bills head coach Dick Jerron sneakily called a timeout nullifying Folk's game-winning kick. Once again, the rookie had to make it for Dallas to escape with the improbable victory. Number 7 Chiefs vs. Raiders flags all around The Kansas City Chiefs and Oakland Raiders met in Week 7 of the 2017 season. This game was a prime example of how Thursday nighters don't always have to suck. With the Raiders trailing by 6 in the waning seconds, Derek Carr found Jared Cook for the apparent game-winning touchdown. But officials reviewed the play and determined he was down at the 2-yard line. And so, a crazy sequence began. Michael Crabtree's game-winning catch was nullified by a pass interference penalty. The Chiefs stopped Oakland on the final play, but yeah, a Kansas City holding penalty gave Oakland one more chance. The Chiefs stopped the Raiders again, but another defensive holding penalty gave the Raiders another final chance. This time, Oakland made the most of it. Number 6 Colts vs. Bucks Monday Night Miracle Peyton Manning's Indianapolis Colts trailed the defending Super Bowl champions by 21 points in the fourth quarter of a Monday night contest. The Colts scored a touchdown with 3 minutes 37 seconds left to cut the lead down to 14. And the Colts recovered the onside kick. There was some hope. Marvin Harrison caught a touchdown with 2 minutes 29 seconds left. And the Colts had a little more hope. Still, the game was seemingly over at this point. But the Colts forced a punt and tied the game with 35 seconds to go in regulation. Bucks kicker Martina Gramatica had a game-winning 62-yarder block. But the craziness was far from over. Mike Vanderjack missed a game-winning 40-yard field goal in overtime. But guess what? The Bucks took an unsportsmanlike conduct penalty. Vander Jack got another chance, and this one barely went in. Even a gimme of a field goal needed a crazy bounce before going through the uprights. My oh my, what a game this was. Number 5. 2015 NFC Divisional Round Miracle Catch, Hail Mary, Fitz Time 
Well, I think it's safe to say that most people thought that Aaron Rodgers' Hail Mary in Detroit would be his only miracle of the 2015 season. I mean, it's not possible to do that twice in a matter of weeks, right? Rodgers and the Packers visited the heavily favored Arizona Cardinals in the 2015 NFC Divisional Round. Arizona stopped the Packers on the fourth down with under three minutes left, and all hope seemed lost in title town. Facing a 4th and 20 situation near their own goal line, Rodgers spotted an open Jeff Janis downfield, and he somehow made this miracle catch against that stingy Arizona secondary. Rodgers and the Packers still needed to convert on a Hail Mary, however, which seemed impossible, except it happened because Aaron Rodgers. Then came overtime where Larry Fitzgerald took over and silenced all that chaos going on in Packerland. Why can't every NFL playoff game be this exciting? Number 4. Lions and Titans – What Just Happened? The Detroit Lions and Tennessee Titans were among the worst teams in the NFL during the 2012 season, so who on earth could think that these two teams would team up for one of the craziest games in history? This Week 3 contest looked like it would be nothing short of boring and forgettable. The Titans led by 14 points with 20 seconds left. Who would even look back on this game all these years later and think of it as a classic? Calvin Johnson caught a touchdown with 18 seconds left, giving the Lions a 1 in 5 billion chance of winning. Next, the Lions needed the onside kick. They got that. Now there was time for a Hail Mary, and they made it. Titus Young caught the miracle pass, and the Lions sent this game into overtime. The Titans kicked a go-ahead field goal in overtime, but the Lions drove down into the Tennessee red zone. The Lions went for it on a fourth and one, but the Titans somehow stopped Sean Hill on a quarterback sneak to win the game. So that was quite the ending, wouldn't you say? Number 3. 2005 AFC Divisional Round Sack, fumble, hero tackle, missed field goal. The Pittsburgh Steelers visited Peyton Manning and the top seeded Indianapolis Colts in the 2005 AFC Divisional Round. This game looked destined for nothing but yawns and pure boredom, as the Steelers led 21 3 in the fourth quarter. But Manning led the Colts to a nearly miraculous comeback for the ages. They trailed by three points with under two minutes left, facing a fourth and 16 situation right near their own goal line. Manning was sacked on the fourth down and the game appeared over. But because football was awesome, the Colts forced a Jerome Bettis fumble at the goal line. Nick Harper picked it up and nearly returned it for a touchdown, but Ben Roethlisberger made the clutch game-saving tackle. The usually reliable Mike Vanderjack is needed to make a 46-yarder to force overtime, but because this crazy game needed an even crazier ending, Vanderjack missed it. The Steelers just barely escaped with the victory, and they went on to win Super Bowl 40. Number 2. Classic Cleveland Browns The Cleveland Browns have a knack for, well, losing games in the waning seconds that they probably should have won. But if we can look at the positive side and not make fun of them for just once, let's just appreciate the craziness of this 2001 Week 8 contest with the Chicago Bears. The Browns led the Bears by 14 points with 30 seconds left. Surely the game was over, right? Well, the Bears got a touchdown to cut the lead down to 7. They still needed a miracle onside kick recovery and a Hail Mary prayer to be answered. Not exactly the easiest of tasks. Well, the Bears got the onside kick recovery. All the Browns had to do now was simply avoid a Hail Mary touchdown and the win would be theirs. But this is the Browns we're talking about here. So of course they allowed the Bears' prayers to be answered. Well, the good news for the Browns fans was that they got the ball first in overtime. Tim Couch could end the chaos with one nice simple field goal drive. But ah, uh, the whole Cleveland Browns thing came into play. And number 1. Ravens-Vikings Wild Winter Wonderland Finish the Minnesota Vikings 2013 road contest against the Baltimore Ravens was quite, well, uneventful for about 55 minutes. The Vikings led 12-7 late in the fourth quarter. It was going to be fouled under defensive slugfest to be forgotten about forever. But even though neither team was very good in 2013, the Ravens and Vikings teamed up for one of the wildest finishes ever. Joe Flacco tossed a one-yard touchdown to Dennis Pitta with 2 minutes 7 seconds left. Then Toby Gerhardt had a 41-yard touchdown run with 1 minutes 45 seconds left to give Minnesota the lead. Then Jacoby Jones had a 77-yard kickoff return touchdown to put the Ravens back up. Then Corderell Patterson had a 79-yard touchdown catch with 1 minute 1 seconds left to put Minnesota back up. Then Flacco drove down the field and hit Marlon Brown in the back end zone for the game-winning score with 4 seconds left. Who cares if it wasn't a playoff game? That is easily the greatest NFL ending ever, based on the entire sequence of events that unfolded in the last two minutes. Which other NFL games ended on the craziest of sequences? Let us know your thoughts in the comment section down below, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you guys next time.